So I am so happy to share with you today one little leafy green that I've been growing for well over nine years now. It is uh, arugula. Sometimes you call this rocket and it has a very strong peppery flavor. I really, really love it in salads. I've also put this in sandwiches, on pizzas as toppings. And of course, it's also wonderful wilted in pastas. It's so easy to grow. So that's why I'm very happy to share this with you. This will be a short video because like I said, it's easy to grow as long as you follow a few simple tips. Now why you may want to grow this wonderful little leafy green is number one the flavor of course but some people may not like that peppery flavor but I promise you it is an acquired flavor which once you start eating it you may find that you are craving it. <laughs> not only the flavor but the fact that it is listed in one of the top 20 powerhouse foods. Arugula is in the same family as broccoli, and it is very nutrient dense. And so this list that you see here um, starts at the top with watercress, which I have also shown you how to grow along with many of these other vegetables. These are listed in order of nutrient density. So coming in at around 18 is arugula, and it is one of the top 20 for nutrient density. So you are going to receive a lot of nutrients but very low calories when you consume this wonderful little leafy green. And so it's very easy to grow. Just pick up a pack of seeds. I would recommend not buying a transplant at the nursery because this is so easy to grow. Um, what you'll do is just toss out some seeds when your soil temperature has reached between 40 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll just cover your seed with a little bit of soil. Don't go any deeper than a quarter of an inch. Keep it watered and misted or perhaps do this right before or after a good rainfall. And you'll notice that they will pop up in about five to seven days and this is what you will see. Now I like to grow these crowded together as you see here. You can certainly space these about four inches apart if you want to thin them, but when you plant them close together, the leaves will stay smaller and arugula has a much better flavor when the leaves are smaller. You may see at the grocery store a lot of times, baby arugula. So that's how I like to plant it. Toss out your seeds that will keep your leaves small and pick the right time of the year for you. For me, it is late in the fall or very early um, in the spring or very late winter. And pretty soon you'll have a lot of nice little leaves you can start harvesting. This was a plant that I had actually thinned, so the leaves got large. And regardless of how you like to grow your arugula, either just broadcast your seed or thin it, just harvest the big leaves first. So that will keep the plant producing and keep it nice and flavorful. I've grown it in a square foot garden, which is my favorite way to plant vegetables. And I'll include links to that if you're new to gardening. I've also grown it in uh, this native soil and it did great. And just a quick reminder, if you're subscribed to the channel, off to the right, make sure you have clicked that bell. That will enable you to receive notifications for my channel. And then you will also be able to select personalized or all notifications. I would suggest because of the nature of my channel that you select all. I do cooking videos and I also do gardening videos and just to kind of see the garden all come together in the kitchen you will want to select all so that you can see how I use it on the other end or if you are seeing me use ingredients in my cooking videos, you'll see how I'm growing them in my garden. And so I've also grown arugula in containers. This is an example where I grew it in my green stock vertical garden. This little garden has a drip irrigation system in the middle and I just love using them. I have about three and I love them. And so I have grown arugula here. You can see these leaves were very big. I was doing a review on the vertical garden. So I wanted to let my leaves get big so I could weigh everything that I grew. And I'll leave a link for you for that too in case you missed that video. And so here it is in the square foot garden. Now another thing that's really nice about arugula is that it will survive a frost very easily. But now when that temperature starts to dip down into, let's say about, oh, maybe around 18 degrees for me, I've seen some arugula varieties, they will survive down to around 22 degrees Fahrenheit. 
once it starts to get really cold, you may want to put a little frost cloth over your leaves and maybe just weight it down with a shepherd's hook or something like that to keep it from blowing away. And that should protect your arugula for a little while longer so you can enjoy it in the winter. Now, when the temperature starts to heat up, arugula does not like that. So you will notice that your little plant, this is where I grew what's called wasabi arugula. It was very, very hot. It was just like eating a big tablespoon of wasabi if you ate a leaf of it. Very, It would clean out your sinuses really quick. Uh, so be careful of the variety that you're growing too. There are so many different varieties of arugula. I would stick to what is just called like a garden variety. A lot of times you'll see it'll just say rocket. So I do not grow arugula during the warm season. Um, it just bolts so quickly. As soon as those temperatures heat up, you will notice it will go to seed and you'll see little flowers, which you can also use and eat those in your dishes. But once it gets this big, it's time for me to pull it out because in my square foot gardens, I like to keep um, things planted. So I pull things when they start to bolt on me instead of trying to pinch the flower heads or that kind of thing. I'll just pull out the plant and plant something else that likes the temperature of my climate at that time. So for instance here I'd pull out this and this is in the springtime. I'd go ahead and start pulling out my arugula um, and then I would plant something else. Probably since it's spring I'd go ahead and start planting a pepper plant or something like that to prepare for the summer and the warm weather. So that's really all you'll have to worry about. I've not had problems with pests with arugula. The only issue I've had is really it bolting. And as far as using it in the kitchen, feel free to head on over to my channel where you can click on my playlist button and it will take you over to all of my playlists. And there you can find one for arugula and it'll give you a couple of different ideas of different ways to use it. My favorite way is just to Throw it right in a fresh salad, just a little bit to give it that little peppery kick. So I hope you can grow arugula soon. If you have any questions, please leave them down below the video and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.